Hello, 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 OMG. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so excited that you are here. I just had to look down and make sure I had my paper with me because we are announcing the winner today. I announced a surprise gift card giveaway and I asked you for suggestions on what a hip grandma name would be. So if you left that suggestion on that video, I put everybody through a, a random comment picker and found a winner. So we will be announcing that. It's Jody Dawn and I'm coming at you with my first Walgreens haul super excited and you know it's just my first for the week because not only do I shop at Walgreens a lot of times a week because I love Walgreens but it's the beauty event so you will definitely be seeing more from me. I have not gotten the um, booster as of yet. I'm going to keep on checking. I hope you all get one as well and then I will be driving to the store that has the paper flyers as well hoping I get both so they stack. I will be posting today on the community tab. One of you emailed me a picture of the flyer. Andrea, thank you so, so much. I love it when you guys share information with me. It just helps us all out so much. So I will be posting that on the community tab in case your stores will allow you to use a screenshot where they'll scan your phone or if they allow you to print it out and take the flyer into the store, the printed version from your home computer or your home printer. Not all stores will, so you can't be mad at what the store's rules are. Mine do not allow that, but some of you have said that yours do, so I want to post that for you in case your stores do allow that if you cannot get that paper flyer. Um, there's the big guy. He's sleeping. Gus, for any of y'all that like to see him, he just ate his lunch a little bit ago, so it's time for his afternoon siesta. I wish I could remember who now. Somebody commented yesterday that they vibe with Gus's energy. <laughs> I love that so much. He's living his best life over here every day. Um, okay, a couple quick updates before we get into the haul. First, let's just announce the winner of the $20 gift card. So, so excited for you. And Tanya Burke, I will pop your comment up on the screen. Thank you so much to everybody that participated and offered your suggestions. There was some really cute ones in there and I appreciate you all so much. So Tanya, send me an email. I will pop my email up on the screen and it will be in the description box of where you would like your gift card to. And I will get that out to you if I can send it electronically. I'll do that so you get it faster. If I can't, then I'll purchase the physical card. I'll just need your... Um, email or I'll need, I'll need your mailing address of where to mail it to. So congratulations and let's start a new gift card giveaway. OMG, we hit 7,000 subscribers. I appreciate you all so, so much. Oh my gosh. I'm so dang happy. I can't even believe the growth we've had. We are all doing this together. I appreciate you all so much for your support, for thumbs upping the video, for commenting, for sharing. If you think it could help somebody else save money, that all helps the channel grow and I appreciate you so, so much. So I'm doing a $25 gift card drawing. All you have to do to enter is you have to be subscribed to the channel. You got to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I don't care what the comment is as long as it's not nasty. Just leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite deal this week is. Let me know where you like to coupon the most. Let me know what the weather is like. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Michigan. I hope you are having a fantastic day. And in case I didn't say it, if you're new and you just found me, I'm so, so happy that you're here. Would you please say hello and drop new down in the comment that will enter you into the gift card giveaway as well, as long as you're subscribed and thumbs up the video. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you're already subscribed, I'm sending you hugs. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'd love to hear how you're doing. I'll leave it down below. All right, couple quick updates. I am not working with any spend boosters this week. As I always say, we do not all get the same ones. And I did not get one this week. Well, that's a lie. I did get one on one of my accounts that was a spend 50, earn 5,000 points. And I'm pretty certain I'm not gonna do that. I did clip it just in case I decide to, but it's very challenging to get a low out of pocket when you have to spend 50. 
unless you have $50 in points that you can use to build your transaction up the way I always talk about using points on a spend deal. The account that got it does not have 50 points available. I keep most of my points on my main account. I think that account might have like 20 points or 20, $25 in points. Um, so I don't know that I will be using that one. That one's gonna be a little bit steep for me. I have to think about it and see. But if you got a spend 20, earn 5,000 points, congratulations. I love that one. So exciting. And I hope you make really good use of that. And just real quick reminder, I haven't talked about this in a little while, but I get tons. I'm talking dozens upon dozens of people that get that booster that says spend 20, earn 5,000 points. And it, it does say on there that it is a one-time use, but remember and i've said this several times but it's been a while that coupon will not be removed from your available coupon folder until it actually expires and i have had a ton of people in the past tell me that they didn't get their points and i asked them to send me an email with their receipts you know i want to make sure everything was okay i'm so always so happy to help and my first question always to them is did you already use this booster? Go back in your points activity and see if you already use it because it will tell you what you earn your points for. And every single time they already use the booster. But because it was still available in their coupon folder, they thought they could use it multiple times and it is not a multi-use booster. So it will stay on there until it expires, which is gonna be Saturday, and then it will drop off but you will only get the 5,000 points one time. Last week, the booster we got, which was available to everyone, it wasn't a, you know, sent to certain accounts like they do randomly every week and not all accounts get them. That one was multi-use, which was fantastic. This one is not multi-use, it is one-time use only, but the coupon will remain in your folder until it expires. So I hope that clears up any confusion. All right, so today I did a very small haul um, because really like most of my transactions are gonna be focused around the beauty event, but there was a couple of things that I did wanna pick up and a couple of things for the house. And I did wanna check my local store that has Catalina that constantly is up and down and not printing register awards. I wanted to check and see if it was working because I do like to do my beauty event there couple of the cashiers know me really well because that's my favorite one to shop in and they already know that the beauty booster is multi-use but I hate going to that store if the Catalina machine is not working and not giving out the register reward so I did want to test that today so for the beauty event I am starting after today of what I earned I think $107 in register rewards so I'm feeling pretty confident going into the beauty event I'm sure I'll probably get a couple more register rewards before the beauty event but I will have very low out of pocket which is always my goal for the beauty event and um, so I didn't do a lot today because I didn't want to use up the coupons that I'm going to be using for the beauty event but I am excited to share with you what I got, a couple of cool Ibotta rebates. As always, I would love to hear what you picked up from Walgreens or what you're going to pick up because your deals help give me ideas or somebody else that reads the comments helps give them ideas. And as I say, we are building this community together and helping each other out. So let's get into the haul. I hope you decide to join in um, and enter into our newest gift card giveaway. So dang grateful for all of you that we hit 7,000 subscribers and I'm so, so excited about it. So I love giving back to you. So I hope you decide to enter that. I will do that drawing on Thursday when I bring you my beauty event haul, my probably my first beauty event haul. <laughs> I usually do two for the beauty event because I love it so much. All right, let's get into these transactions. All right, here we go. Small but mighty. As I said, I will be focusing most of my efforts for Walgreens this week um, for the beauty event. So I really didn't want to do too many beauty deals right now that I have coupons for because I'm going to save those for the beauty event like the sunscreen. Let me know in the comments if you would like a video before 
the beauty event with a couple of scenarios and I'll be happy to do that because I've already got some great things in mind. So I did three transactions today. You probably will see another haul from me this week because I did get this at the end of last week. I haven't gotten one of these in forever and it expires on the 7th. So I only have two more days to use it. And there are some great deals, so I probably will take advantage of that right there. So I am not working with any spend perks um, because we don't all get them and we don't all get the same ones. And I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm not going to be bummed about that at all. But for any of y'all that got the spend 20 earned 5000 that is amazing. I hope you make good use of that. And you know I would be using points on that perk right there and earning my points back to have a lower out of pocket. There will be a link in the description box of a very detailed video on how to use points on a spend deal in the correct way so that you still earn your points back, including what are the exclusions because there are a couple of exclusions on spend deals where you cannot use points, but for the most part, most spend deals, you can earn points. All right, so my very first transaction was a very, very simple transaction. I went to the closest store to me that I do love to go to, but for probably two months now, their Catalina has been up and down. And it's very frustrating when you are trying to purchase something that is giving back a register reward and you do not get your register reward. So what I did, I had two register rewards that were expiring today. And I will tell you my experience with this cashier because I know some of you deal with this as well. And I just wanna help you if this does happen to you and how I handle that. So I had two register rewards for $3 that were expiring today that I needed to use up. So I decided to pick up the Kiss Balm, which are Revlon's Kiss Balm, priced at $4.99 in my store. And Revlon has a promotion this week. When you buy two, you earn a $5 register reward on it. I think pretty much any Revlon products. Those are the cheapest ones and we really like those. So that's why I picked those up. So my total was $9.98. I used two $3 register rewards and I intended to pay cash for the, the, the remainder of the balance in case my register reward did not print because I didn't want to deal. I was going to return it right away if the register reward didn't print and I didn't want to deal with getting a store credit back. Normally, I would have just paid with points um, because you can pay with your points and get a register reward back no matter if the deal is coded spend or not. It doesn't matter how you pay when it's giving back a register reward. So first thing that happened was I asked if the Catalina machine was working and the cashier said, I'm not sure you're the first one today. And I said, well, it's been down for a couple of months. So I just wondered. And she said, well, I guess we're going to test it and see. So she rang those up and I handed her over my two $3 register rewards and she informed me that I would not be able to earn back a register reward if I was paying with register rewards. So in case this happens to any of you, and I said, oh yeah, I absolutely can. I've done it several times. And she's like, well, if they change something, they should let us know. And I said, well, maybe what you're thinking of is I can't use a Revlon register reward that I just earned this week to pay for more Revlon and get back another register reward. And she said, oh, yeah, that's that must be what I'm thinking of. And I said, yeah, these are register rewards I earned from something else, so it should work out just fine. So she went ahead and did my transaction, and hallelujah, my $5 register reward did print. OMG, so happy about that. So my receipt is very, very simple. Again, I did this all on its own receipt just because if I had to return it, I wanted to get my cash back versus a store credit. So there they are. There are my two register rewards. My subtotal was $3.98. I paid that in cash. I got back my $5 register reward. So great products if you are trying to build up some register rewards for the beauty event. The next deal I did, and this one, same cashier, was kind of almost created an issue as well. <laughs> so just giving you a heads up in case this happens in your store. So I picked up the four Old Spice. Now our coupon, let me grab the coupon real quick. Okay, so this is the coupon that we got in our last week's, I think it was our smart source. I'll pop it up on the screen. 
Um, it is buy one secret or Old Spice dry spray antiperspirant. Get one free. This does not include the body spray. It has to be antiperspirant. The coupon will not work. I've heard it beeps. I haven't actually tried it. So I picked up four of these, which do say dry spray antiperspirant, okay? So they are on sale this week for $6.99. Normally they're like $7.49, I think. And the deal is when you buy four participating products, there are several products included, you earn back 10,000 points. So here's the issue with this coupon. She informed me that because it is a buy one, get one free, first she informed me that she could only take off $5.99 which I already knew that because that's what the coupon says and I'm perfectly fine with that. So they're $6.99 each. She informed me that she had to manually enter this coupon because just like the Dove deal last week when they are buy one, get one half off and their system automatically will take off the highest value, they don't want that happening. So they want to manually enter any buy one, get one freeze, coupons like that. The problem is, is once they hit total, it's gonna search for digital coupons. And I have digital coupons for this. And I did not want my digital coupon to come off because it is less of a value than this. And so I explained that to her and she said, yeah, it's taking off a $5 coupon, which great to know because I actually have a four off of two Old Spice digital coupon and I have a five off of four secret Old Spice and I think something else, digital coupon, I'll pop them up on the screen. So the five off four was coming off before the four off two, which kind of surprised me. So I said to her, I totally understand that you have to enter them, but these are all the same price. They're not buy one, get one half off. So it doesn't matter. I said, can you scan them so that I can use these because my digital coupon is only for $5 versus these are $5.99. And she said something like, she's very kind, don't get me wrong. She just likes to always try to educate me on their coupon policy and she usually is incorrect. Um, and she said, well, I don't wanna get in trouble. And I said, well, I don't want you to get in trouble either. And I said, that's fine. If it has to take the digital coupon for two of them, because I really wasn't sure which one um, it was trying to take, I said, then I'll just have you enter one and I'll take one coupon back. And she said, well, let me see if it'll let me do it. And somehow she backed it out and scanned both of these and they did take off the $5.99 each and then the digital coupon went away. So just an FYI, if your store rule is they will not let the buy one, get one free coupon scan if they have to manually enter them, it is going to search for your digital first. Now I could go in and remove that digital, but if I remove it, I lose it. And I hate to lose a high value digital that I may or may not use. So just an FYI on that. So those rang up for $6.99 each. And my two paper coupons, they scanned perfectly fine, no issues. Sometimes the Old Spice coupons just do not work, but these were totally fine. So my subtotal was $15.98. I had a store credit from last week, if you remember when I bought the, I actually bought the Annie Perspirants thinking they were the two for 10 last week. Um, instead of buying the body spray. And so I quickly returned them and rebought the right ones on the same thing. And since I had used points, I got a store credit back. So I did use my store credit and then I did use $10 in points. So I paid a subtotal of nothing basically. I just paid $1.32 in tax for these. So I used 10,000 points and I earned back 10,000 points. So pretty awesome for that. And it gets even better because Ibotta has a rebate on the Old Spice. It actually works for the body spray or the antiperspirant dry spray. I scanned them all. And as soon as I got in my car, I scanned my receipt to Ibotta just because we know sometimes rebates can go away when enough have been collected. So I did already collect my $5 back because it is a limit of five on those and I purchased four. So I already collected my $5 back. So pretty fantastic. And I did forget to show you on this receipt, worry about the kiss bombs, I did hit beauty. So that was awesome as well. So that transaction for me, um, my subtotal was $3.98. I got back a $5 register reward and Hit Beauty made 5,000 points. So that was a pretty fantastic transaction. All right, so 
Be careful of these. You cannot buy the body spray and they're not included in the buy four, get 10,000 points anyways. And hopefully your stores will not manually enter them in. Hopefully they will just let them scan through since they are not a buy one, get one free or a buy one, get one half price this week. They're all $6.99. All right, and then my third transaction I did was I picked up some of the Dixie plates, which is not the best deal, but we are almost out of bowls and we are almost out of the smaller plates. And I had a 75 cent coupon that was expiring today. And um, we just got dollar coupons as well, but I wanted to use up the coupon that was expiring. So they're buy one, get one half price. Then I picked up the Febreze, which is a great deal this week. They're on sale two for six. And we got those awesome BOGO coupons from our PNG. And we got a $3 digital coupon on the app as well. And then I decided to pick these up. Um, I actually thought I had a paper coupon, but it must have expired and I didn't remember that right. So when I got up to the register, I was searching all over for my dang coupon and I couldn't find it. I did go ahead and pick them up anyways. They are $6.79, buy one, get one half price. There are some that are higher priced. So if you wanna get the $6.79 ones, make sure you're looking at the tags. So $6.79. The other one was three something, so ten eighteen for both of these. We got a three dollar digital coupon today, bringing that down to seven nineteen. When you purchase two of these this week, you get a two dollar register reward, which I did get. And then Ibotta has a rebate for three dollars back. It's just one rebate. It's you can't do multiples like you can on the Old Spice. So check your Ibottas. We do all get different rebates but I did have that one, so I did it right when I got in the car, got my $3 back. So that makes these a final cost of $2.18 or just $1.09 each. Not a bad deal for razors. I prefer to get them for free, but I thought I had a $2 coupon for Bic. It must have expired. So what I did in this coupon was I did use my buy one, get one free, and just an FYI, this coupon does say that it excludes Febreze Air and Air Effects. Um, I have already seen some people using it on that product, so I'm guessing it probably the coupon scans just fine. But I just can't do that because I can see that the coupon says it, ex it excludes those. I did, I would have loved to pick up some of the air effects. I did scan in the store to see if the digital would attach. The digital did not attach. The digital only attached to these or like the car ones or things like that. So obviously you do what you wanna do, but I do not like using coupons on wrong items as long as I notice them. I have made that mistake before. So all in all um, for this transaction, I think my total was like $15 or something like that. I had a $3 register reward that I did use um, that's expiring in like two days. So let's take a look at my receipt. So there's my Dixie plates at buy one, get one half price. I would rather do this deal when they're buy one, get one free. It's much better. But because I had a need, I did go ahead and pick it up. And then there's my Bic at buy one, get one half price. There are my two Febreze ringing up at $3 each. There is my BOGO coupon. Now at this store, she just scanned the BOGO coupon. So your mileage is gonna vary per cashier. Um, there is my $3 digital coupon off of the BIC, my 75 cent digital coupon off of the Dixie, and I used a $3 register reward. So my subtotal was $12.41. I did use $10 in points, so I did pay a subtotal of $2.41. I didn't get anything back from this other than the $2 register reward. So that's pretty much what I have today. So between my three transactions, you saw all of my subtotals. One was $3.98, one was $15.98, and one was $12.41. Of course, I didn't pay that amount in cash because I did use points. But all three of those totaled me a subtotal of $32.37. I earned back 5,000 points for Hitting Beauty. I earned back 10,000 points from the old Spice deal for buying four. I earned my $5 register reward from Revlon, my $2 register reward from Bic and $8 from Ibotta. So that makes all of these products a cost of $2.37. And what did we get? We got four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We got 12 products. So that makes it just 19 cents a product. I'm pretty happy about that. I was really excited that we got BOGO coupons again um, out of PNG because I love to stock up on those. When we get that coupon, we haven't had it for over a month. 
So super excited to get two of those for just $1.50 each and great Ibotta rebates happening. So I would love to hear what you are picking up from Walgreens. Drop it down in the comments. Congratulations again to the winner of the latest gift card that I recently did. And I hope that you will enter into the new gift card giveaway we are doing since we hit 7,000 subscribers. So dang excited. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you soon. Bye.